Well, hey there. I reckon y'all have come on by for a nice slice of tech news. I can't blame you. Mmm. It'll do the body good. AMD could be taking a page from NVIDIA's branding book for their upcoming 300 series GPUs. Sweet Lockers reports that the flagship card with 8 gigs of high bandwidth memory based on the Fiji processor will not be called the Radeon R9 390X, but will have separate branding, similar to how NVIDIA's Titan GPUs are distinct from the rest of the GeForce lineup. It'll also reportedly cost 849 bucks. So what about the actual 390X, or whatever it's called? Well, it's still unclear what chip it'll use, but AMD has confirmed that their first card with HP HBM memory will be limited to 4 gigabytes, which is the max for first gen HBM. So it looks like we could be seeing a few different tiers of flagship cards from AMD. Question is, what beats a Titan? An Olympian? Because they overthrew the Titans? We're gonna have to brush up on our Greek mythology. Oculus and HTC slash Valve are launching VR headsets soon, but another company thinks they've got the next big VR thing. The Fove headset integrates infrared eye tracking technology that allows simulations to react to where you're looking. If you're wondering, it's named Fove after the fovea centralis, which is the part of your retina that corresponds to the center of your vision. Mm, biology! It looks like they're going to hit their Kickstarter goal, but I also wouldn't be surprised to see their technology snatched up by one of the bigger companies. Oh, and in other VR news, Oculus just sent out invites for a June 11th event, so that's when we'll presume get a closer look at the consumer Rift device. Oh, and there's more VR news apparently. Valve just applied to trademark something called Chaperone. The filing describes a system for the detection and measurement of physical objects and representation of such objects in virtual reality environments. Now, a Smarty Pants Reddit user noted that Valve has already talked about Chaperone as their method of mapping out a real-life space for use in VR, so you don't constantly run into the wall or couch. But this trademark seems to indicate something that brings real-world objects into VR. That would be cool. No, 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 no buts about it. That would be cool. Quick bits. Oh, we got a lot of quick bits today. Spotify is adding videos and podcasts to their library, as well as songs and playlists that morph according to what you're doing as you're doing it. NVIDIA is retroactively giving Titan X owners free copies of The Witcher 3, because if you bought one, you probably don't have enough money to get the game. Uh, boo-hoo. Sprite is a rugged, twin-rotored tube drone that floats. Google has released Tone, an experimental Chrome extension that sends URLs from PC to PC using sounds. And Samsung released a beta for Flow, their app for sending things from device to device, just like Apple's continuity feature. And just like Apple software, it only works on certain devices. Samsung. No, bad Samsung. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked below. I am fully charged! I don't know if that's how he said it, but that's my best. That's my best try, so. Submissions are now over for our Design the Next NCIX Angelbird PCIe SSD and Win It contest, but now it's time to vote for your favorites. We got over 200 awesome designs, but now it's up to you to vote for the three finalists. You can vote once per day until May 24th, but you can also share your favorite design for more votes. Click here to vote and for all details and things of that nature. All right, that's it for Netling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you excuse me, there's more tech news that needs a harvesting for tomorrow's show. If I don't get to it, I could get the whip from old Pappy. <laughs> no, no, Pappy, no! Oh.